Hey there everyone, I wanted to make a very short video all about the reflect tool in the Live 2D software. This is very useful for things like eyes if you wanted to save yourself a job of redoing certain motions and flipping them all in the other direction. I will say though that if you do happen to have a quarter view VTuber model you're going to have a bit of a harder time with it, there'll be more edits to be done. But since we're only working with a full frontal rig in, in this series, we don't have to worry about that. It's actually a lot easier. Now, how I would go about this is to make a new folder here in this window, the parts window. So just click on this yellow folder there. We're going to call it I2. These are completely fine. Just so that we have an empty new folder. So we're going to highlight everything in this deformer window. That's to do with the eye. In my case, I'm going to start off at the very first deformer here and go all the way down and highlight everything. Now, just make sure that you are both highlighting the deformers as well as the eye pieces that are within the deformers too. If you want to keep the folders in the parts window here, so it's all organized still, Feel free to highlight the folders here too. If not, then it should be fine. You might be all wondering why I didn't just duplicate the I folder. It's just so that I know for absolute fact that I have highlighted everything to do with the I only. Because I don't always monitor the parts window too much and I'm always using the deformer window, there's a possibility that there may be stray deformers in other places in the parts window. So it's always better for me to just constantly refer to the deformer window as far as the deformers and parts are concerned because they're all in the right order and listed the right way, unlike the parts window where it can be a little bit sporadic. But now that we've highlighted all the warp deformers and the parts, we're going to go Control C note that I said control C and not control shift C. Control shift C is only for keyforms. Control C is when you can copy deformers and pieces the same way as we're going to use the control V. So now that we have copied everything we're going to go into the I2 folder here and we're going to paste everything that we have copied into this folder. So we're going to go Control V. Now everything is within the I2 folder. We have effectively duplicated the I as well, just to emphasize that point. You can't tell, but we do have it duplicated right there. So what we're going to do now is go into modeling, edit shape, then reflect. Make sure Reflect Horizontally is ticked. Don't choose Reflect Vertically, otherwise it will flip your eye upside down. Now we're going to pick Eyeball X parameter. We're not going to pick the Eyeball Y parameter, otherwise it's going to make your pupil move the opposite direction. That's effectively what we're doing here, is reflecting the motion the other direction and making it the opposite. Of what it was. We're going to click OK and here we have it, we have the eye reflected. Now I dare say that you may need to do some edits to make it look right but effectively we have reflected the eye. So if we move the head around it also moves along with the other eye which is a really awesome head start. Now the reason why the eye is already tracking like this is because of the face deformer for the X and Y parameter here. Now of course it's not quite accurate, like with this one here we're going to have to make some edits. You could use the already established face deformer to edit the eye, but of course it's going to end up influencing the face if you do that. So the best course of action is really to just make a new deformer for the new eye. If you did want to edit this eye, like in this case it could do with a bit of an edit there. If you go on the main deformer for your new eye and create a new deformer, you can call this eye right and create. 
we can now use this new deformer to edit the X and Y angle. Add three keyforms and you can just start editing the eye the way you want it to be. Now of course if we were to toggle the angry expression on and off you'll see that it has actually adopted the settings as well because we copied the deformers as well as the pieces so we're not starting from scratch. In that regard we'll be able to also move the eye around like this, open and close the eyes like this and also move the eyebrows as well. They're pretty much in sync with each other. Now I just wanted to get this reflect tool out there so that you all know that it exists because it is such an important tool if you're looking to create the same exact motion as your previous eye that you've rigged. You don't have to do that second eye completely from scratch. But yeah, I just wanted to get this tool out there because I think there's some of you who may not be aware of the reflect tool and it's just one of those things where I think it's kind of like one of the most important tools to know about just to save a hell of a lot of time when it comes to rigging the eyes. So like I say, it definitely needs some editing. It's very rare that you'll just be able to flat out use the reflection and not have to edit anything at all. But like I say, use that new deformer to make the small edits that you need to make and you should be completely fine. It might be something that you would like to do with possibly arms and hands where you want to reflect the same motion. Anything that has an element of symmetry, like the eyes in this case, including its motion, this might come in useful for that too. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you found this useful and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And feel free to share it with your friends who are also wanting to look into making their own VTuber models and such. I also have a Discord if you are interested in posting any of your work in progresses. Anyone can join it, just feel free to click the link down below that says Discord. And yeah, hope to catch you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. See you later guys.